to another episode of Kick-Ass Women of God. Um, I am not at home. I am at work at school where I teach um, because my phone is just not up to the level that it should be. Um, the camera is kind of broken, so I'm kind of doing this in a different way. Anyways, and I just find it more accessible if I just take do these videos when I'm on the go. Yes, the lighting's not as nice and all that stuff, but you know, I know some people, ministries, they manicure theirs. Um, I'm on the go a lot, so I just wanna do these videos. It's really for me. If it blesses somebody, aside from my mom, <laughs> that's great. Um, as always though, I will say, please, if you like this video, please share, please subscribe. And um, you can hit the, click the alarm bell or the little bell to get notifications of when it's coming. So just share, you know. But again, um, I just, today we are gonna be talking about, I introduced the video with me roller skating, <laughs> just a 15 second clip, because it's been on my heart for the past few uh, months about Miriam. Uh, Miriam was Moses' sister, and we find her story in Exodus. And I, I just, I, that, I am in um, my classroom this year. I, I go to the, the classrooms. I'm an art cart. I'm an art teacher, and I go into the actual classrooms um, because of COVID. The kids don't come in here, so I have kind of some space, at least for this year. So I roller skate here in some mornings, and that's where I try to spend time with God. And I just keep getting this visual of Miriam and how she led. Um, the Israelites through the Red Sea with worship and song. And and I, I just want that to, that's a, a fact. And the sad thing that she's remembered for is, I guess, um, being bitter and, you know, getting leprosy and rebuking Moses. And it's just, yes, that is a fact too. But many times in my, my heart for this ministry, my heart for these videos, is to empower the role of women that God um, uses in the in the Bible like they are not he doesn't downplay them and what my heart is to really see you know ministers pastors especially male ones you can make cross references to at least one woman in your sermon a week like it's possible it's totally more than possible that's how much volume that's how much space God gives to these women in the Bible like it's a remarkable it isn't like this and we got to search for hours like it's there but we have a choice whether we want to highlight that or not or we talk about it we magnify that right it's always million million sermons about David and David's heart and, and they're great but like that's a fact too that he's in the Bible. That's a fact that there's a lot on him. But there's a fact that there are women like Jael. There are women like Joshebed, who's the mother of Moses. There are women like Miriam, who's Miriam's sister, who actually, um, I'm just gonna read really quickly for um, Moses, uh, Exodus chapter two, a man from the Levi tribe married a woman from the same tribe. And she later had a baby boy. He was a beautiful child and she kept him inside for three months. But when she could no longer keep him hidden, she made a basket out of reeds and covered it with tar. And she put it in the basket placed in the tall grass along the edge of the Nile. The baby's older sister stood off at a distance to see what would happen to him. That basically the the basket is made of resin and tar, which is super strong, right? They knew what they were doing. Joshebed, who we find in Exodus 6, um, they don't say her name right off the bat, Moses' mother, but they list her as in chapter 6, verse 20, Amram lived to be 137. He married his father's sister, Joshebed, which is problematic, but a fact. And they had two sons, Aaron and Moses. So she played a pivotal role in the beginning in chapter two of um, for Moses. And then we see in verse five of chapter two, what about that, about that time, one of the king's daughters came down to take a bath in the river while her servant women walked 
along the river bank. She saw the basket in the tall grass and sent out one of the young women to pull it out of the water. When the king's daughter opened the basket, she saw the baby and felt sorry for him because he was crying. And she said, this must be one of the Hebrew babies. At once, the baby's older sister, Miriam, came up and asked, do you want me to get a Hebrew woman to take, to, to take care of the baby for you? Yes, the king's daughter answered. So the girl brought the baby's mother and the king's daughter told her, take care of the child and I will pay you. The, ba the baby's mother carried him home and took care of him. And when he was old enough, she took him to the king's daughter who adopted him. She named him Moses because she said, I pulled him out of the water. Well, yeah, she pulled, the Pharaoh's daughter pulled him out of the water, but it was planned, it was staged. And I love how they mention when Miriam said, do you want me to get a Hebrew woman to look after Moses? Do you remember, does that remind you of something? I hope it does, because we went over this quite a few times. Pua and Shipra, Exodus 1. Again, not micro microscopic, it's there. We just need to... Um, bring it to light and highlight it as much as we do David and Paul and all the other great guys. Um, and those women, Pua and, Shua, Pua and Shua, saved almost an entire generation of babies, right? They stopped a genocide, pre-genocide. That's huge. God rewards them with their own family. He mentions that. That's huge. And then what is Joshebed, his, uh, Moses' mother? I don't want to give reference to her name because it's not used very often. And Miriam, what did they what did they do? They did the exact same thing. You well, no, they didn't do exactly what Pooh and Shipper did, but they saved one baby who saved an entire generation. Yes, their choices made them most of them not enter the promised land, but that generation gave birth to the generation that would go to the promised land because of one guy, Moses. And who were the women in his life? The women behind him. Mm-hmm. There's always a good woman behind a good man. Amen to that, and I will preach that. Um, and that is his mother, and that is Miriam. They saved an entire generation. That is the first two chapters of Exodus. Pooh and Shipper story, Joshebed and Miriam. So yeah, damn right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna sing, and I'm gonna clap, and I'm gonna take my tambourine in honor of Miriam. Yeah, she died of leprosy. Yeah, she rebuked her, her brother. But I've heard so many sermons growing up how the role of women is not to rebuke and not to, you know, the anointed one. Excuse me, Aaron helped um, Joshua hold up Moses' arm when he was tired. He had his moments like we all do. We all have our moments. She had a moment. And that is how I choose to remember her and that part of the scripture. I'm going to remember Miriam who not only had led worship through the Red Sea, had not only saved her brother, had not only saved a future leader who would lead an entire generation out, that's how I'm gonna remember Miriam. I hope you do too. I hope you find and cross-reference and highlight, and pastors, I'm talking to you. You have the ability to do this. It is not hard. There's so many women, more, <laughs> more than Jezebel, that are so powerful, so badass, that you can make that choice to highlight it or not. And we can empower the next generation of young girls to know that they are royal princesses of God, that they are lead, they are ministers of reconciliation. Not someday, but they are now, according to the word of God. They are ministers of reconciliation, of, of reconciliation, ambassadors of Christ. That's who our women of God are. Let's rise them up. Let's speak life into that truth. Because the truth, there'd be a lot of holes in this Bible without the women. And that might be a project I might do in the future. Take a, all, cut out all the names of the women in the Bible. Boy, that'd be a thin, thin Bible. For every good man, there's a good woman behind him. Amen, unless you're God, of course. But amen. Till next time, guys. This is Linda. Kick-Ass Women of God.